For his resilience, Bill Mott, as you heard, blinkers going on. In my opinion, he is the other horse if you want to play against deterministic. The very quick El Grande O for Linda Rice. Resilient, hard-knocking, consistent El Grande O shows up, and you know he's going to be on the Lonesome boy, some good form out of town at Parks. Well, he was a $40,000 maiden claimer, taking a big whack at a big race. The undefeated and lightly raced deterministic Gotham winner for Christophe Clement. He's just a really classy individual, waits on his riders, cues, travels in the bridle. I, I really was taken with his Gotham. Todd Pletcher trying to win an eighth Wood Memorial. Here's one of two he'll send out, the maiden protective. And he came out of a good maiden race in his debut, but his last race, a bad one, not flattered by the horse who hit the wire with him running last in a maiden race yesterday. This is probably the primary challenger for the lead with El Grande O, evening news. The horse been showing speed on synthetic and should be forward. Eric Cancel picks up the ride here. Huge, long shot. Merritt, the one who caught Maggie's eye at a big price for Safi Joseph Jr. I'm not knocking a long shot that Maggie likes, and he's run well enough in his races that he probably shouldn't be 54 to 1. Elysian Meadows, he tried the Sam F. Davis, was a distant fourth. Yeah, distant fourth there. This is a New York bread. You get Jose Lascano. He's going to have to improve to one fifth. Now to get a piece of it here. Here's the undefeated two for two Tuscan Sky for Todd Pletcher. I want to see it to believe it. I think he's in a, in a tough spot, but he has run well in his races. His dad won this race a few years back. Gettysburg address at 36 to one. Blinkers on. I thought this horse was very unlucky in the Smarty Jones, and then he disappointed in back-to-back -back efforts. It's a seal track, and then it's been the synthetic. He's my long shot to get third okay. or fourth. Here's Society Man, Danny Gargan. He'll send out Doorknock later today outside of town. He's got this big long shot as well. Took advantage of a wicked fast pace. And as to the second place finisher, who was fourth in a maiden race yesterday. A trainer with a history of incredible upsets, Uriah St. Louis, sending out deposition. And this would be another incredible upset. He ran okay in the Withers, came back with a poor effort in the Gotham on a sloppy track. And Uncle Heavy for trainer Butch Reed. He overcame a bias to win that great three winners. The more ground, the better is what Butch Reed says. We, we love this horse, and, and I really think he has a big future ahead of him. He was very unlucky with the post in here, which is going to hurt his chances, but he's a good horse. All things good for both the horses uh, that uh, are, sh well, actually, Uncle Heavy, Greg, he's a big price at 10. The Belmont, but I'm sure he would love to get there. We'll see if this horse can do it for him. With Joel Rosario, four to five on deterministic. Running in Vinny Viola's silks the first time. He's wearing those Dunker silks the first two times, so... We'll see. Could it, the silks matter, Richie? No, they don't, but I'm superstitious. I, I, used I don't to think they try matter to, I wouldn't want to change anything. I wouldn't even, I would wear the same underwear if I went on a horse. Thank you for sharing. A little TMI there. Probably didn't need to that. know that. Appreciate Here's it. the horse. Maggie said this horse looks great, has really made a nice appearance. Might be alone on the lead at a huge number. Getting back to dirt, the six evening news. Here's the 11. Society man. Uncle Heavy will be the last in line. The Withers winners already won at this distance at a mile and an eighth, but has that difficult outside post to overcome. Winner punches his ticket to the Kentucky Derby. It's the Wood Memorial on America's Day at the Races on our FS2 coverage. Let's go to Chris Griffin for the call. Uncle Heavy, last to load. And in. All set for the Wood Memorial, presented by Resorts World Casino. And they're off, and Uncle Heavy off a step slow. Resilience right out to the front. Lonesome Boy is in that early mix, and there's Evening News. Evening News, and Eric Cancel will push the tempo. Resilience is going to take back. Just had to check briefly there in second. Outside of that one comes Lonesome Boy. Then comes Deterministic, who settled into fourth. Is to the inside of Society Man, who's now a shared fourth. They share that fourth and fifth position. A little rank early that was Merritt, who's to the outside of Gettysburg addresses in the lime green silks, light blue silks there with deposition out wider. Tuscan Sky is towards the tail end. Uncle Heavy is at the back end of the field there with protective and the trailer. Elysian Meadows, they work up the backstretch. Evening News has got the lead. Pressure here from Lonesome Boy. The two long shots went 23.45 for the opening quarter mile. Resilience is settling off of them, is now patiently ridden by John Velasquez from third. Then behind them, at the rail is Deterministic, still sharing that spot with Society Man. Deposition with an early move. 
Depp position is now taken six. And behind that is Merritt in seventh with less than a half mile to go. They went 47.49 for a half mile time. They've got to catch the big long shots. Evening news and lonesome boy who's under a drive. Here comes resilience moving in closer. Deterministic will need somewhere to go. Depp position is in the hunt. Society man, orange cap is splitting rivals. Uncle Heavy, Tuscan Sky protective from the back of the field. They're all making a charge for the lead. Lonesome boy will have the lead here with resilience. And now resilience presses on. And resilience is quickly up by two, three widening lengths. Society man is in the clear. Oh, we had a spill there. Deposition clipped heels and went down. It was resilience who's opening up is up by two and a half, three lengths. Society man down towards the inside. Protective resilience is drifting out. It's resilience who's clear is up by three lengths now resilience will win the wood society man second protective lonesome boy is gonna finish fourth taking a look at the jockey dexter haddock is sitting up dexter haddock is sitting up and they are tending to the horse final running time one minute 50.28 resilience and john velasquez they win the wood memorial resilience your winner of the wood memorial good news we heard from Chris Griffin, track announcer, that jockey Dexter Haddock was sitting up under his own power. We'll wait to hear about the horse that tossed him. Yeah, very unfortunate incident in the middle of the stretch there. Um, should, you know, detracts a bit because of very nice effort from Resilience, who was always sitting in the catbird seat. And the uh, disappointment was the four deterministic, who just seemed that he was out of horse going to the far turn. He was inside behind horses. He wasn't responding for Joel. He tried to wheel him outside, and he had absolutely no answer. He did not run a step in here, but resilience, he did. Horse who was fourth in the Risen Star last time out. An equipment change and a big reversal of form here with Hall of Famer John Velasquez aboard for Fel would be the two front runners to pick up this mount for the Kentucky Derby. This horse looked like a winner pretty much every step of the way. I agree. I agree. I mean, really, you were looking and thinking the only horse going to beat him is the four. Deterministic if he runs his race. And he didn't show up at, at all. all. Yeah, it's essentially, I, well, it is and it isn't. It's an open mount because Johnny V will be riding your derby favorite. Junior Alvarado, though, is sort of Bill Mott's main man, so he's sort of in the driver's seat, you would think, to get them out? I, I, I would think so. I'm not really aware if he has anything else that he might be looking at as a derby mount, but this is his main guy. You'd have to think he's the, probably the front.